Hey, Melanie Beckler here with ask-angels.com here with our weekly angel card reading for July 16th through 23rd, 2017. This is very much a preparation week for what is definitely the biggest cosmic event of the year centered around the August 21st eclipse. And something interesting about the August eclipse is that it's a new moon in Leo. Well, the new moon at the end of this week is also in Leo, signifying how tied these dates really are. And so this week is really about preparation for the August gateway. And we're going to go ahead and tune in to the angels' messages using the Ascension Angel cards to bring through the guidance, wisdom, and frequency that will most serve us in making the most of the energies this week. And so at this time, I invite you to join me in taking a relaxing breath, let go of stress, as I ask that we each be surrounded with divine light, with love, and with well-being that each of our teams of guides, angels, and ascended masters enter into this present point in time, surround us with love and light, uplift our vibration, help us to open our hearts and shine our heart light more vibrantly and authentically than ever before. Let go of focusing on the illusion, on worry or negativity, and dive into that love, peace, and presence I now ask that the guides and angels who can most serve us this week bring through the messages and guidance that will most serve in the highest interest of all according to divine will and so it is. What do we most need to know this week? I seek the truth just surrounding these cards with light as I shuffle looking for the right cards for this week to appear. There's our first card, there is our second card, and then our full moon card is right there. So our first card is centering in divine light. In addition to the new moon energies in Leo that I mentioned, there is an interesting physical manifestation of the entrance into this gateway, and that is a mass amount of solar activity in the form of solar flares. And this just signifies the pure light from the center of the galaxy, from the central sun, the codes of awakening and DNA activations that are streaming in. But the thing about these influxes of solar light, although it absolutely serves in your highest interest, it can be a bit physically draining. And that draining effect is compounded if you are in your mind, if you get ungrounded, and if you get uncentered. And so to really avoid some of the ascension symptoms and pitfalls, and to make the most of this incredible opportunity to link into sync with the higher vibrational aspect of you, with your higher self, your authenticity, and to come into closer alignment with your true divine nature, centering in divine light is immensely important. And so I'm getting the guidance to do this together now. And so just close your eyes and focus within. Bring all of your awareness in to the center of your chest, focusing your attention there and where your attention goes, your energy flows. Imagine that a sun is shining within the center of your being, that light inside of your heart center is glowing brighter and more vibrantly. And let this light expand around you. And imagine that this light now acts as an incredible magnet that is now drawing to you all energy that is rightfully yours, that has been scattered throughout the cosmos, consciously or unconsciously, that has been drained by others or given away. All energy that is rightfully yours, that serves you according to divine will, return to you cleansed and purified. And you may want to use the simple intention, as the divine human I am, I now call forth the full return of my power and light. 
all my energy that has been drained across the lines of time return to me in this present moment and envision a golden spiral of light carrying the sacred geometric form of Metatron's cube spiraling around you this divine sacred geometry of perfection, the golden light across the lands of time, returning your power and your energy to this present moment, calling back all of your power into the moment, into the area of your heart. And when you drop down out of the busy mind, out of worry, out of doubt, out of fear, out of projecting towards the future and fully become present in this moment now, focusing all of your energy and all of your awareness on your center, on your heart, letting your heart open, you are able to tune in to the power of the divine, the power of the infinite to elevate your vibration and open to receive the activations that are meant for you, the DNA upgrades that are meant for you, the codes of awakening, the unique frequencies that you are a carrier of. And when you open and when you're fully centered and when you receive the downloads of divine light and frequency, the waves of light and cosmic activations available for you today and accelerating in the intensity at which you're able to tune in so that you literally lift in the light and you rise up to meet the incredibly high vibrational cosmic light that is streaming down. So rather than the light needing to travel all the way down to you, you rise up to meet it and integrate it in a deeper and more profound level, staying centered in your heart staying grounded to the earth and present and open to notice the opportunities, to become aware of your intuition, of the, oh, I wanna go do this, that lights up your heart and invokes joy in you. Do that because that is in the direction of your highest becoming, of your true authenticity. And notice the areas where you feel drained and stop doing the things that you drain that drain you and pull your energy back into the present. And if you feel drained, get moving, get out into nature to really ground and centered and be in this present moment now, which is where all of your power is. So be centered and towards the middle of the week, we have grounding. So the angels clearly already inspired that message that centering and grounding are essential for you as a divine human to begin to step up and rise up in that your true divine nature. And so in addition to that calling back your energy, feel your energy flow down in a crystalline column of light all the way to the core of the earth, the crystalline core of Gaia, which is receiving this light in activations too, and is an incredible ally for you on your ascension path. And so ground and feel your oneness with Gaia, feel your oneness with the earth and with all that is, and then let that earth light stream upward in through your earth star chakra, in through the bottom of your feet, up along all of your chakras, up along your spine. And as the earth light flows up, let it push out and release negativity and density. Now is the time to let go of the belief and limitation of the belief that you're not good enough. Let go of the past. Let go of those repetitive thoughts that things don't work out for me or I'm not supported or I'm unloved or maybe even I don't love myself or I hate myself. Let that go. Become impeccable in your every word and action and intention. And what this means is not only doing what you say you are going to do, because when you say, I'm going to start working out, and then you don't, it creates a blockage in your field. And so do what you say you're going to do, but then also say what is in alignment with your highest intention. Stop expressing limitation. Stop expressing negativity. If that comes up in you and you need to let it out, yell or stamp your feet and feel the negativity, feel the anger, and then let it go and choose a new 
pattern. Choose to be empowered. Choose to be the co-creator of your life and meet the universe halfway towards manifesting your goals by staying centered, filling yourself up with light, being grounded in this present moment now and then in this present moment. Being Gandalf on the bridge, Gandalf the Grey saying, you shall not pass. No longer am I going to manifest negative things in my life. No longer am I going to buy into the illusion of the physical realm or into negativity. I choose to stand as the empowered light being fully awakened in physical form. I choose to shine my full light, to stand in my highest authenticity, to be the divine being I authentically am embodied in physical form. Ground this intention, this incredible light, this authentic power into the present. And this is what is really going to prepare you for this gateway where you have the opportunity to really leap forward, to leap up to a new level of embodiment of your divine light, of your authenticity, of, and our card for the new moon in Leo to embody your awakened creativity. So this passage is all about the opportunity to really become a divine human embodied. And this is in part letting go of illusion, letting go of limitation, letting go of those old patterns and habits and beliefs of I'm not good enough, letting go of believing that you're limited and stepping in to being empowered, to living vibrantly well. And through this, overflowing that light in high vibrational frequency to make a difference in the entire world. And the entire world is moving in to a more embodied, more awakened divine creator state. And your ascending and opening and awakening your creativity is a part of that because your authentic truth, your soul path does not look like mine and it doesn't look like anyone else's. And so if you're looking for the perfect career, thinking that some career that someone else has come up with is the fullness of your soul purpose, you are missing a ton of the picture because your life purpose is completely unique. And I'm not saying you're a special snowflake. I'm not saying I'm a special snowflake. I'm saying that all of us together are essential pieces of the puzzle. And it takes each and every one of us waking up and shining our light, awakening our creativity and flowing forth our inspiration, flowing in sync with the divine, in alignment with our authentic truth, listening to that inner guidance and taking steps in alignment with them to bring you into sync with your true divine nature, with your highest authenticity, which is a creator state. Become the co-creator of your reality. And it's a fine line between intention and surrender because you intend and you focus the universe in the direction I want to go here, but then you surrender the exact outcome taking steps in the direction of your goal, taking massive action, but remaining open and aware and available for the universe, for the divine, for your angels to line things up in a way that are even better than expected. And this is really where being grounded and centered and your heart open is so empowering. Because in that present moment, if you're not spiraling in thought or worry or negativity, you can become an aware and in an instant shift, being adaptable, being willing to change, listening to your guidance, and also knowing that a part of this shift is causing older timelines and older possibilities to fall away. So if you have felt guided in the past to do a certain thing, but it's no longer feeling supportive, supported, you're no longer feeling supported in it, and you no longer feel in sync in the flow and grace and ease, maybe it's time to shift. Maybe that timeline has fallen away and there's something even greater, a higher vibrational manifestation of your soul's calling waiting to spring forth from this fully embodied state 
as a divine being where then your creativity is fully activated. And if you notice in this card, it's like the butterfly is springing forth in the mind. When your mind is clear, your mind can transform. And when your heart and mind unite as one and you really step into sync and into flow with divine, anything is possible infinite possibility is available. And then when you act in alignment with the highest interest of all, you are in the flow, you are in sync, you are co-creating in the new paradigm, in the awakened earth and calling forth this new paradigm of joy and love for humanity. And this is what we're stepping into with this gateway. And this is what this week of preparation is all about. It's both letting go of the older timelines, letting go of older patterns, being mindful, centered, awake, aware, charged up, showing up fully in the present moment is not just about dropping everything and entering in. That's a part of it. But then turn your light up, open your heart, fill with divine light, feel the waterfall of light flowing in all around you. You let your energy grow big and expand, let your aura glow brightly, tune into your etheric wings popping up behind you, tune into your angelic halo because you are a divine being, you are an earth angel, show up in the present moment by being present, centered, grounded, and shining your full radiant light, that's when you're best creative inspirations appear. That's when your guidance appears. That's when you're able to be focused and really progress forward. And when you're in that place and these codes from the divine are streaming in, that's when magic happens. And in an instant, your timeline can shift, your paradigm can shift. And what used to take years to change your life can happen in an instant because you have met the universe, the divine, God, the angels, however you want to look at it, you have met spirit halfway. And so there's an incredible opportunity coming up with this eclipse gateway, with letting go of the old and shifting into the new paradigm. But you must be an active participant and really show up, shine your light, stay present, and don't be hard on yourself. If you feel tired, rest. Get moving, get some exercise in, but then rest and recover and recharge. Take a salt bath, take a long shower and imagine it's a waterfall of light cleansing your energy. Get out in nature, spend time by a river, that flowing water can really help you get into the flow. And remember that you're supported. Ask the angels and your team for help releasing, but then remember, that you are a divine being. And so it's time to let go of the mind and body's limitations to become bigger than your mind, to become greater than your body, and to stand in the truth of your highest authenticity as a divine being. This is your opportunity now. Ask your angels for help, but then step up and claim your empowerment and enjoy this ride of this wave of light that's already happening and really kicks off on the 23rd with the new moon and then just continues to blossom like a lotus flower within you through, really through September. And so we're going to be talking about this more. I am working on some new activations to really guide you to do grid work and to really step through this gateway of hearing. And so if you're not on my mailing list, be sure you Sign up for that at ask-angels.com slash love or become a member of the angelsolution.com to become aware of when these new angel sessions and this new support is available to you. And of course, stay present, enter inward, tune into your light, open your heart, and know that there is so much support available to you at this truly exciting time. The light in me reflects the light in you. We are truly one. I thank you for joining me in this reading. I hope this is helpful for you. Stay present, shine your light, and remember how loved you really are. And remember how powerful you really are. Let go of limitation. Let go of the old. Release fear into the light and step into your power. Now is the time. 
and you are supported by your entire team and spirit, by the entire universe, by the very cosmos, all of life is your ally and is supporting you. And this becomes aware, you'll become aware of this when you meet that support halfway. So become accountable, be impeccable with your thoughts, with your intentions, with your actions, and create the changes you seek in your life. Thank you so much. These are again, the Ascension Angel cards, which are available as an app. Cards are coming at some point, so thank you for your patience about that. And again, I thank you, I love you, many blessings, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.